What's up everybody, Pocket Start here, um, here to show you the next step that you should take in getting your app published to the iOS App Store. So in my first video I showed you how to create an Apple ID and also come up create a developer account. So now that you have all that complete, let's go ahead and let's jump right into the next step. So the next thing you want to do is download Xcode. So you're going to want to go to developer.apple.com and you're going to, go to click on download Xcode and you're going to follow it here onto the Mac App Store. For me, it says installed. Obviously, I have it installed. Um, some of y'all might already have it installed as well. But if you don't have it installed, it's probably going to be a blue button and it's going to say install. So I want you to click on that and follow a few simple steps so that you can have Xcode installed on your computer. It's free. Um, it's Apple's software development kit. Um, it is an amazing tool um, to use. So go get Xcode. All right, now the next thing, once you have Xcode, we're going to load up a source code here. Now, I got my source code from a website called appsfresh.com. This gentleman right here, Johan, he is amazing. He is an he is an expert on app reskinning. I have learned a lot from him. So, the source code that we're going to be using is actually called Jelly Splash. So, let me load up that for you all. All right. I'm going to find Xcode here and click on a game called Circle Birdie. Now, for me and as well as for you, um, if you purchase the source code, you can pull it up on Xcode it's the same way I just did. And the first thing you're going to, going to want to do is run the game, make sure that it is working when you get the source code. So, once you do that, in order to do that, you're going to go right here and you're going to click on iPhone and you've got different sets of iPhone simulators right here you've got iPhone 5 simulators as well as iPad but the one that I, I'm going to be showing y'all is just the iPhone 4S simulator um, non-retina display um, it shows the iPhone in its entirety um, I, I enjoy using this simulator so so right here we're going to pull up Circle Birdie and as you can see we have the launch screen that pops up now the beauty of that is you can change the launch screen to whatever you want a picture of you a picture of your kitty your family whatever as long as there are no copyright issues you can put whatever you want as your launch image as well as whatever you want into the game I'm going to show you so the first thing past the launch image that we see here is an ad network called RevMob um, I'm going to show you all how to get a RevMob ID so that we can get your app monetized and get you get a little money in your pocket or get a little stream of money going. So, next thing we're going to see is the title page. Now, we have what we're going to want to change here. The biggest things we want to change are the buttons and the background. So, the buttons we are, can easily cut those out online, copy and paste, get them in here. Um, we can do all this for free or at an extremely cheap price. So, you know, no worries about the buttons. I will show you how to do all that. Um, we're going to use Photoshop. The beauty of Photoshop is you can get a 30-day free trial, which I'm still using mine, and it's only twenty dollars a month after that. Um, I plan on definitely taking them up on that or you can use another software called GIMP which is free online. So here's the buttons we're going to be changing up as well as the background. I created the logo here, a very minimalist logo design. I can show you all how to do that or maybe create something a little more flashy. Um, no big deal. So anyway we're going to click free play here I'm going to show you some of the gameplay. So here we have a bunch of different level packs. Um, this game is loaded with over 700 levels. I mean, there is tons of stuff to do. There, there are, you know, tons of time to waste. I, I pull this out on a regular basis when I'm out and about. So I'm going to show off a couple levels here. Here's another ad network called um, RevMob that I'm going to show you all how to get an ID and get set up. So, and here are some of the levels. So I'm going to click on one of these levels. We're going to you, we are going to change up some of these little squares uh, in the background will have already been changed and we can also find you some buttons as well so here we are and the circle birdies now as you can see I have little birdies in this game 
Now, your theme can be whatever you want. It can be birdies. It can be uh, any kind of sports ideas. It can be any types of little characters. I believe this game has 13 different characters to change. Um, so we, we just need to come up with 13 different sets of whatever in order to, to have 13 different characters for this game. Also, there are going to be some little sounds in here to change up as well. This is an absolutely easy reskin for beginners and those who have never touched code or graphics or apps in general. If this is your first app to flip onto the App Store, this code is perfect for you. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's been my biggest earner so far on the iOS App Store and I want you guys to have the opportunity to get published as well. So stay tuned.